Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I thought I'd make a really quick video on what our TV and sound system look like. I think a lot of folks want to upgrade their TV that are in their esteems and they have a bunk over cab version like this one, but they aren't terribly certain about kind of what that's going to look like. So let me show you. This rig originally came with a 32 inch TV up front. Outside there's a 23 and then in the back there's a 23. We went ahead and opted to upgrade the TV up front and move the TV that was here to the back. So I'll show you both of those. This guy is an LG OLED. It's a 48 inch, which we actually lucked out on because we wanted a 50, I wanted a 55. Emma was not quite convinced that we could get it in here. We bought it and we picked our rig up February 4th. So we were long past the turn window there, but we're lucky. It actually worked out just fine. Now this TV is very heavy compared to the TV that we took out of there. Let me show you how we hooked it up. So the original bracket it is actually still in use. So the 32 inch TV that it came with would just flush right up against the mount and kind of lock in uh, using these pins. This TV obviously is too large to be doing that. But how we set this up is we took the original gear, we left this here. We picked up a universal bracket for about 18 bucks on Amazon. It's all steel and it came with almost all of the hardware that we needed. We just needed to grab a few extra nuts and bolts. So we mounted the TV onto these brackets and then it clips onto these guys. We just bolted the existing arm right onto these brackets. We don't want all of the weight, of course, leveraging off of this mounting point. I don't know what's going on behind it, if it's in one of the studs, and even if it is, this is, you know, as you're going down the road, it can be a whole lot of weight. And it's not the most elegant solution, but we can always change this. We just took a three quarter inch plywood piece and drilled the foot of the TV right into that. So that actually rests right on here. Um, and that has worked out well. Ignore the lack of cable management. Now this TV is deceptively heavy. Beautiful, really nice profile up here and all of your guts are right down here. But we found out this guy is actually made of steel, which is great. So we were worried about it being kind of flimsy and such. That has not been an issue for us at all. A lot of folks have concerns about this hitting the window. And I'm glad to say that has not been an issue. As long as you tighten down the bolts and just check them every few weeks. There is a lot of vibration, of course, uh, but it has not been a problem at all. In fact, while we're driving, there is almost no movement on that TV whatsoever. Even over like speed bumps and things like that, we did have to tighten the bolts down once because we kind of noticed it was starting to kind of creep forward. Ever since it's been just fine. Ideally, of course, you want the TV to sort of be right in front of your sitting area. Obviously we can't do that. There's not a great option for us. We thought about putting a projector down, but that would just be obnoxious. If I'm sitting here, the TV's right over here. It's really not too bad, especially if you kind of angle just a little bit. Now, if you put the centerpiece back in, obviously that's gonna cut off a little bit of that corner there while you're watching. But if you pull that piece out, we just keep this guy draped across for privacy. That isn't a problem at all. Yes, you can move it back a little bit. We do like having this window and getting all that light in. Uh, we cannot move it all the way back against the wall because of course those edges are going to touch the glass. Could you get a 55 inch up here? Or even a 65, possibly? <laughs> If there's a will, there's a way, and you could, uh, but I do think that you will be cutting off a bit of the edges of your screen. And honestly, that 48 inch, uh, it may be hard to tell from the video, but it does fill in the air, the, the space pretty darn well. Could you? Yes. Would it be even more obnoxious? Yes. For sound, this bar is facing us. Audio waves, of course, they do kind of bounce off that a little bit where you have upward firing speakers. Emma's sitting here and me sitting here. I hear it perfectly. She hears it pretty darn well as well. I've sat in both spots to test it out before we decided on where we wanted to install it. And that worked out pretty darn well. It's obviously still a work in progress. I think we're just going to install a bit of black foam back there just to kind of cover up some of that ugly. And then we need a few trim pieces, but that is working well and it sounds pretty darn good. So we sit here, TVs here, sound bars there. I wanted to get the subwoofer right underneath us. That is not gonna happen. Our sub is too big to fit underneath with these bars under there. So the next best thing, was to move it under here. And thankfully there's a lot of space in here. Let's take a look. And if we look in here, that is our subwoofer right underneath here. And we have a lot more room. You could potentially have a drawer in here. And if you cleaned all of this up, that I mean, there's a ton of room there. We did not bolt this guy down or strap it down or anything like that. And clearly it has not moved 
an inch. We did put some of this drawer liner underneath. That's kind of hard to tell, but we put some drawer liner underneath it and on this side so it doesn't, doesn't vibrate. And we're very lucky because we were able to take the, the cable and simply plug it in right here. We've got two, two outlets. So we have an extension cable plugged in and then we have a subwoofer plugged in. That sends plenty of vibration all along the slide and right over to us. It sounds pretty darn great. As for the TV that was at the front, we went ahead and, and installed it in place of the much smaller TV that was here. I did have a little bit of a concern about whether or not, because these do lift up, whether or not that would be an issue. It actually fits perfectly. Now for the bracket, I did have to drill a few extra holes here, two extra holes so that, you know, everything would work, but there's no additional fatigue on that guy. It's working beautifully and it's nice to be able to just sit here, look out. We also have a UE boom speaker set up behind there that we can plug in. Obviously it's not the same as a home theater system, but I don't know that I'm ready to invest in another home theater system so that we can have a sub under the bed. Although I've thought about it. Now, if we head outside, you can see we have another 23 inch TV out here. It's not a bad TV, but I don't see us ever using it even during the summer. I mean, if you're sitting down, it's about the right height. It's good for sports and, and such, but they do have outdoor speakers here and down there. So if that's your thing, you wanna watch a NASCAR race or something like that, this is definitely a good option for you. It actually came with two TVs like this. So the one that was in the bedroom, we actually gave my sister. It's a great looking TV. The, the picture's pretty clear on it, good color. Um, and then she just ordered up about a $20 stand as well that's a universal mount she can use that in her bedroom for a, a pretty good tv all right so that's our tv sound system situation if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i know there's a lot of folks that were actually pretty excited to see that you can put a bigger tv up there the other thing too is like we don't have the expectation right now of being able to use the upper cab area as a bed so we're cool yep. with it taking up some of the space up there and not worrying about having to have people sleep up there but if you're a family that needs space for people to sleep Yep. This may just not be the right solution for you. Maybe you do need something a little smaller that goes flush to the wall. This has been kind of a fun thing is figuring out what we want and how do we make it happen. If there's a will, there's a way. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.